Hey everyone, my name's Joe and welcome to the first devlog for my upcoming mobile game, Seagull Team 6. So here's the background. I've made a lot of games since I started getting into game dev four or five years ago, but I've only published a small handful of them and usually only on itch or, you know, for free or, or for a game jam or something like that. And I want to have something out there that is actually on, you know, a major platform or like on mobile or on Steam or something like that. Uh, I'm also going back to grad school in the fall, so uh, some extra income would be pretty nice right about now. So with that in mind, here's the plan I've come up with. I want to take the entire month of June to focus on making a game and publishing it. This gives me about four weeks, and I've still got to work full time during all this, so it's going to be four weeks of work on the side and on the mornings and whenever I can get some time. And because of this, I've decided that making a mobile game is just what makes the most sense. Uh, I've never published something for mobile, so I think it'll be a really cool experience, and I think it allows me to focus on making a game that is smaller in scope and that I can focus on just doing the small things I do well rather than trying to build a lot of content. I'm planning on making it a free game, but hoping to add a light amount of ads or in-app purchases or something like that on the side, even if I never make any money out of it, just to have that experience. So here's the concept that I've come up with. I actually did a tech demo a few months ago about a mobile infinite scroller shooter game and I've decided that I want to turn that into the actual game that I'm going to make. Plus I think it's got a good idea and it's going to be something that's humorous enough that it'll you know, actually be fun to play. The idea is a game called Seagull Team 6 and you're a seagull that has to take down bad guys by pooping on them. And it was originally an idea I got from a coworker, and I think it's the perfect mix of, you know, fun, short, sweet, and humorous enough that it could do well as a mobile game. Now I want to run you through the progress that I've made so far. And again, I had a little bit of a cheating head start because this is kind of a tech demo that I had sitting around. So this is the base game. Um, I've just got a main scene. I'm using some tile maps just to get some really basic uh, ground decoration here. Um, I've got just a basic enemy uh, spawn that happens here and some enemies that will spawn across the screen or across the screen and I've got our player so nothing too fancy but if I run it you'll see what we've got so I've got a seagull that you can move around by dragging or tapping and we've got some enemies that will periodically spawn and will always be facing the player or trying to and will shoot every once in a while bullets that can actually hit the player um, so what I also have right now is this red bounding box. This won't be in the final game, but I'm just drawing it because I'm trying to give a safe zone near the edge of the screen to prevent the player from moving super close. Um, and so you always kind of feel like you have control over the seagull and it's where you want. Uh, I also draw this gray line right now just to kind of show the direction that the player is currently dragging or moving in. And I think it's a small thing that adds a nice touch to the game. But yeah, so it's pretty simple. There's not a lot going on, but you know, we've got enemies that can move and shoot and that spawn and then I added in an area right here where when enemies hit it they just stop firing and go just to try and prevent enemies from shooting at the player once they've left the screen and then as soon as enemies leave they get freed up so that they're not there but yeah so that's basically where I'm at right now I'm excited to actually jump into this month proper and really focus on getting a game done and if you are a beginning game developer if there's one piece of advice I could give you it's that start small and finish something it's the most important thing you can do there's no better feeling and just completing a game no matter how small it is is one of the best things you can do to help yourself grow as a game developer so this week, the things I want to focus on are starting to add enemy death, really make the continuous scrolling, fix up the, the spawning, and actually start to make it feel like a game, and uh, just kind of fix you know the player's projectile and the poop and the shooting and all that to make it feel like an actual shooter. So that's first on my list, is really shore up the gameplay. And in one hand, I think uh, four weeks is enough to make a simple mobile game, so on one sense, I'm hopeful that I can get something that's good and fun and um, I can focus a bit more time on content than I might be able to in four weeks. But on the other hand, I've made games before and I know that that's not how it works. So I fully anticipate getting uh, the end of this month and having something that theoretically could be published but might need some work. But that's my goal. I just want something that is complete and publishable and fun, no matter how small it is. 
So that's what I'm going to be focusing on. And, you know, I'd love to continue working on it or improving it after this month. But one month, one game, four weeks of working on it, and we're going to come up with something awesome. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching this first devlog for Seagull Team 6. I'm so glad you can make it. If you haven't seen any of my Godot tutorials and you're wondering how you can make games yourself, you should definitely check those out. Let me know any feedback or suggestions you have in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.